that five hours on Venus was worth 48,000. Great Scott. Well, hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money just selling plutonium and plutonium mining. You don't need to have any skills. All you need is about 4,000 resources. You're going to go to the soul system, go to the moon, Titan. On Titan, you're going to go into New Homestead. You're going to walk through the corridor and you're going to go inside. At the bottom of the staircase, you'll be able to enter the main area, go through a breezeway, and on your left is a store. In this store, you'll be able to buy the following resources. All right, so for this build, you're going to need 118 aluminum, 45 beryllium, 33 copper, 97 iron, 4 lubricants, 6 silver, 17 tungsten, and 2 fiber. Now, please note, in order to get more storage, you're going to need a lot of aluminum and iron, which are very easy to get. I'll link my outpost guide for how to get a bunch of that information if you want it. Otherwise, you're just going to have to buy it with plutonium, which won't take you too long, to be honest, but you'll need a couple thousand to get the amount of storage to, to get to the point where you're making 48,000. But this initial setup will get you going where you're making three, 5,000 a run, and you can start building up your storage and building up the total amount of plutonium that you're getting. Now, you can reset the vendor inventory simply by sleeping 48 hours, but remember that time is relative in the world to the UT time. So you need to sleep 48 hours relative to UT. So you see here we have one local hour, and 50, which is equal to 15 hours UT. That's why I like Titan. It's just really fast to reset everything. So we only need to do, um, at three hours, it's not quite 48. So we only have to sleep four hours to do the 48-hour cycle. Okay, and you're just going to repeat this process and keep buying the resources till you have everything on that list. This is going to allow us to put down six extractors and everything else that we need to get plutonium. Once you have that, trade your excess resources to your NPC so that you can fast travel and you're not over encumbered. Hit tab, go out of the system, and then we're going to go to the Narion system, which is north and east of the Soul system right here. And we're going to go to a moon called Grimsey, which is right here. Now, if you follow my other outpost video, you don't need to do any of this because you already have the majority of the resources. All you really need is that tungsten and some fiber. And what you're going to do... So here's the deal. I have advanced scanning skills. You don't need any of this. You can literally click anywhere on this map and you're going to find all of these resources randomly. It's kind of weird. I've done an enormous amount of testing. I can't make any sense of it. Just don't even, don't even pay attention to this. All you're going to do is land anywhere. You're going to exit your ship. You're going to hit F. You're going to hit R. And you're going to look for, on the top left, it will tell you what resources are in the area. Now, I just do this over and over until I find plutonium. All right, so I have nothing here, so I'm gonna, we're going to just keep fast traveling. Hopefully, you're not over encumbered while doing this, but it should be relatively easy. And we're just going to keep randomly landing until we find it. I've done this actually four times. On, I lost my last playthrough. And it's really easy to find to find plutonium. It just takes time. So just... If you look down at the ground, you can see you have complete control. So I just look up and turn around and it's scanning everything around it. So you can just do this over and over. Sometimes it helps to walk around just a little bit because I've actually found big plutonium veins just maybe 10 feet away. But for the most part, you're just going to keep doing this over and over again. All right, cool. So I think I found a plutonium. So I'm so it says plutonium up there. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit V. I'm going to see where this plutonium is by having a plutonium extractor as my highlight. And then once I can identify the vein, I can see if I have all of it. I don't. This is a great vein. So we can see it's literally right next to the ship. Cool. So we're going to destroy this by hold, uh, go, walking up to it and holding R. And we're going to move this closer to right here. So even though we can't scan for plutonium, we can use the re the outpost to tell us where it is. So I should have roughly all of the plutonium now in my view. This is actually fine, probably, because I'm just going to do six. Uh, we, we can definitely move it over again. I'm going to leave it, though. So here's what we need to do. You're going to hit F. You're going to hit R. We're going to place down the main things that we need. So we're going to place an industrial workbench, and we're going to place the bed. You should be able to do all of these with the resources. Ignore the fact that I have thousands. I've already tested this out. The resources that I gave you are applicable to everything that I'm about to show you. Now that we have that, we need to build adaptive frames in zero wire. And do this precisely. Don't build any more than this or you won't have enough resources. Build 12 adaptive frames. Scroll all the way down to the zero wire. And we're going to build exactly six zero wire. Hit F, R, V... Uh, all right, so you can see that the area on these is really substantial. So make sure 
that you're getting you are getting these as best as you can so we can see right here it ends so I'm, there's my second let's get this tucked in as best as possible there's my third we're gonna build six of these in total there's oh, come on do it do it do it four then over here I can hit five so you can see I'm, I'm staying out of the circle as much as possible to fit as many of these as possible so we have we have four we're gonna build a total of six okay we got that in spades all right and you're going to place down nine solar arrays in total and that will power everything and then we're going to put down our transfer container and then you should have enough for four storage containers and you can right click or whatever button it is on the xbox to change the snap point and i like to stack these like that then you just simply right click on the top container throw it down Click on the top container, throw it down, right? Click on the top here, hit E. And then from here, you're going to link it there. And then you're going to link by right clicking and going to the top box on each of these. So time doesn't travel very quickly here, um, 36 minutes. But what you can do if you don't have any other bases is just sleep three hours. Okay. And then come up to the main box here. So you got 27 plutonium, not very good. Um, you can go to another planet and sleep, no problem. I'm just, I don't really want to do that right now. I'm just going to sleep here and get enough money. This point, you need to get more iron and aluminum to increase your storage. So you can go to any moon and sleep in the bed with the, the you could go to Venus and get 40 hours per one. I would just go to, and drop on down here and sleep in the bed of your ship. And then come back here and pick up around 300 or so plutonium. And that's going to net you three grand to buy all the iron and aluminum you need to buy more storage containers. If you already have the money, just buy as much iron and aluminum as possible. If you followed my guide, you already have all of those resources for free. So once you've gotten just an absorbent amount of resources, you're going to produce all the applicable adaptive frames that you need, which is three per. I should do it. On my other build, you, you can make thousands of iron and aluminum per, per like one hour. So now we're just going to produce as much storage as we possibly can. There we go. All right. All right. And then we just need to link all these. I just kind of go in a, a zigzag. Just one row to the next, basically. Sometimes I screw up, though, and it's really annoying. It'd be nice if we could use our mouse in this game. They built it for console, so it's really frustrating. But once you have it set up. All right. And just make sure that you have the bottom guy here going all the way to the top where you started the progression from shit no i'm sorry started from the bottom oh well it doesn't matter it, it's fine and then the top guy here just needs to go into there and then this will all flow together so we need to go to a moon you can sleep in your ship so we're just going to go to venus in the soul system all right just laying anywhere and then you can just get up and you'll be in your ship you don't have to get out of your ship and we can just go to our bed and you can see one hour, oh shit, one hour here is 100 hours. So we can sleep 10 hours here for 1,000 hours of production. We probably don't even need that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure five is fine. That's 500 hours of production. That's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so then we just get back in our seat. And we fly back to our outpost. Oh no, we did. They're all full. Okay, so 151. So we're going to get 100 a pop. So it's just going to keep filling every time I pull. And I have no idea how much this is going to be. Holy cow. We got 5,400 plutonium. I guess we don't even need the 30%. The also, make sure to put the sanitation robots down. That's why we made the zero wire. And that will give you an ex extra 30% production. But it's really kind of unnecessary, uh, as you saw. How much we were able to get just by going to Venus. Basically, at this point, we're able to get 6,000 plutonium with this setup. And put down a small landing pad right here next to the links. And that way when your ship lands, you'll be right next to it. Okay. As you can see, that five hours on Venus was worth 48,000 in plutonium. I do have a couple skill points. So if you were a full load, each full load is going to net you 50,000. No crafting, nothing at all. All you got to do is set all this up and get it going. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you want more details on how to do this in depth, please watch this video. This sh shows you how to set up your initial colony. It will take you about 30 minutes to an hour.